It's never too late to get your life. Hey everybody, welcome to Get Your Life Podcast with your host Lizzie G. Looking like I just woke up because I kind of just did. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. So I was thinking about how everybody has at least one person. Either you have this person or you have had a person in your life that you don't hear from them ever until they need something. Like, you don't get a hello. I hope you're doing well. You don't get a a happy birthday when your birthday comes. You don't get a just, you know, you were on my mind. You, you, nothing. But they come out of nowhere when they need something. And you always know it because when you see their name flash across your phone via text or phone call, you're like, I know y'all need something. Because that's the only time they contact you. It's like, you can't even make this stuff up. Some of them even go a step further and they don't even hit you up on your phone no more. They'll hit you up on a social media account just to ask you for something. And most of us are annoyed with people like that. And we do ignore them after some time because it's like, we're not, we don't have no relationship. We're not really friends. You just, you, you call me when you need help, but let them tell it. If someone asks them about you, oh, that's my day one. That's my this, that's my that. And that got me thinking about how a lot of us, y'all knew I was going to bring it back here, treat God. Um, Because in the, like, as human beings, we are annoyed when people do that to us, but we don't realize that we do the same thing to God. We don't have a relationship with him. Don't talk to him about nothing. Go on about our life and about our day. But as soon as we need something or we're in a pinch, we're just like, Heavenly Father, we thank you. Can you please help me out this situation? Blah, 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 blah. And we are praying. And God is not human. So he doesn't look at things the way we look at things. But it it, it makes you want to think, man, if I don't like when people just hit me up when they need something, why would I treat the creator of the universe like that? Like how disrespectful is that and we wonder why sometimes we be on like our prayers be on ice we have to get beyond the um i've said this before using god as a genie or thinking that he is just our way out of problems and wanting him not just for the benefits but for a true relationship um it's crazy to sit here and be like man you love somebody that you don't know. And I think I've said this before, but it's like, you can't truly love someone that you don't know for real. Um, and you don't truly trust someone that you don't know. And that's why a lot of us struggle because we don't know him. So, you know, instead of just running to him when you need something, how about start a habit of just when you wake up thanking him because he is spoon feeding you every single breath you don't have to be breathing right now and you take for granted that you woke up this morning so just stuff to keep in mind um and then the last thing I was thinking about because I'm always thinking about something y'all because this world like it's just it's so much but you know I was thinking about how um the three little pigs story and how the pigs you know they first built the house out of straw and then you know the big bad wolf wolf blew it down then they built it out of sticks and then he the big bad wolf blew it down again and then they blew it out of you know built it out of brick and then he couldn't blow it down and i was thinking about how you know the foundations of our life what we're building our lives on and here uh, matthew 7 24 it says, and these are the words of Jesus. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on a rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall 
because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house, and it fell with a great crash. Um, and so just you know, reminding us about how we're, what we're building our life on. Jesus is the foundation. He is the firm foundation. He is immovable. You build your life on him. That's like building your life with brick, right? It will surely not be blown down when the big bad wolf or the enemy, Satan, comes knocking at you. But if you don't have a foundation in him, and people be like, there's more than one way to God. Uh-uh. He's the only way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He says so himself. It That's what it is. So if you don't build your life on him as the foundation, when the stresses of life come, you will not be able to stand it. Your little crystals, your little sage, none of that's going to help you. I'm just saying. So just thinking about that. Thinking about, you know, building a relationship with God so you're not just using him like your little friends be using y'all or um and just letting him be your foundation so that when the stresses of the world come you're not falling and you're not hanging in the balance that's it i hope this inspires y'all love y'all have a great day bye it never